welcome to our channel at we are Campo. if you're new here please go ahead and subscribe to our channel turn your notification bell for new videos that will be coming up all right so today i'm with a quarter of an eighth of an a sixteenth of the Ocampo siblings <laughs> Sunset, yeah, sister. older sister. Uh, she's the sister that I follow. Mm -hmm. After her, I was born. Yeah. Number five, number six. Yeah. Yeah. That's how. I just, just go with the numbers. I know, right? <laughs> so anyway, so today is a very important day for the Ocampo family, for ours as Ocampos, because this is a day we don't want to be missed along the calendar, ever ever in the years to come and in even just today uh, because it's our mother's birthday and and our it's mother. Birthday today. yeah happy birthday mother <laughs> happy birthday mom in grace and so we're just gonna take some time to celebrate her as we always do every year and so yes uh, so who will I begin with of course as people in Christ we know that uh, we don't need to mourn since they're with the Lord and they're part of the cloud of witnesses and we're gonna see them again uh, one day when it's our time but uh, also here in the earth we keep them alive through remembrance yeah so so you're the interviewer you can be asking us <laughs> yeah but okay that was the first question what what do you generally have to say then we'll come back <laughs> yeah for sure um, and it's really you know but a lot of days we like we can't believe that they're gone and uh although we know that only god knows we are not god only god is god and we are just mere man well you you can't help but you know so it, it ain't ever right to lose a mother you know and it's always gonna hurt it's always uh there's always gonna be a corner of your heart that's, of your soul that's really big. like mother's day christmas and her birthdays but of course, by the grace of God, we just learn to live with it, you know, with the pain and, um, you know, the lessons and the warmth that she has left us with. You know, she she was such a great, uh, I found that she's the only version of such person, <laughs> you know, uh, like like in the Philippines, we say how to be you, Paul, but uh, I, I don't think we can ever say that. Uh, to her, and uh, but the amazing thing there is, you know, after that, it's like she, you know, she's the seed that fell to the ground and multiplied among us. And she, you know, multiplied twelve warm hearts, well, ten warm hearts right now, and uh, every m miracle that she has imparted to us. First, being you know the obedience to the will of the Father, obedience to Christ, absolute passion and devotion to God. I think that's the most uh, miraculous thing that she has imparted to us, right? Like, you know, uh, it was difficult for us to grow. I mean, you know, our PK, preacher's kids, we always have this syndrome because we feel the jealousy towards the ministry or the church. But for us, well, in my opinion, the reason why we can't, you know, uh, by God's grace, of course, that none of us turn black. <laughs> that just happened. Ooh, that just happened. Wow. Was that mom? <laughs> wow. Was that mom? <laughs> mom. There, uh, we completely removed the <laughs> umbrella that flew away. And Reverend Liz is attending to the kids. They gotta get out of the pool because of this sun. Uh, Glaring yeah. Sun. Glaring sun. So, yeah, continuing to talk about uh, mom. Uh, we're, we, she's known as uh, prophetess, Dr. Anna Ocampo uh, or Sarah Anna. Yeah, I remember when I was around 13 years old, she told me, my son, um, it is not the material possession of this world that I'm leaving you. Uh, that we're leaving you with your dad but it is christ it is christ is your inheritance and of course at that young age of 12 or 13 it's you like, know it's like what? yeah <laughs> what's that like can't you give what's me a car or something uh but now being 34 and you with know family. with family and appreciating life it's true that's that's the best inheritance that uh any parent can give you the incorruptible seed yeah, what about you? Sorry, Other sorry. memories? 
Well, yeah, I, I was saying before the wind cut us short. Yeah, so it, it's really amazing how 12 of us, right? And um, I, we grew up with missionary, full-fledged missionary ministers. Uh, they go in and out of the country and we just see them like every three months, six months, you know, and then just be with them for like two days or max a week, right? So uh, by God's grace, none of, um, you know, we, we are on, on the path in um, going after the will of the Lord in our lives. And I, I think because um, by God's grace, we overcame that, um, you know, uh, I, I don't know what you call that, uh, PK syndrome thing, where, uh, where all the children of ministers and pastors gets really jealous and, you know, you know they, they become broken. But I think the reason why we can't but yield uh, to 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 them to to their walk in the Lord because we saw that it's really the truth, you know because we, they they were really faithfully and fledglingly uh, serving God and we we saw that they my mom and dad they didn't have any agenda but God so it was real and and it was true so we can't do anything but heal them. okay yeah this is worthwhile walking right and and yeah being being a mother right now you know it's just really You're amazing a mother of how many kids i'm just three three beautiful <laughs> wonderful children you know i was like uh before i really didn't want to have a family of my own because i, I was afraid to ruin someone else's life and <laughs> yeah I, you know it's like i'm not as strong and i'm not as um equipped as mom you know she because she was really she really set a standard that's really i'm sure they have their own um you know process with dad you know working behind closed doors but boy did she really do well with things that really oh, yeah. matter the valuable things things that are not you know uh that don't rot the moth eats up you know the things that are you know the values the principles and everything that's really existential to life basically yes. and it, so, to do that with 12 yeah 12 it's children it's amazing and of course it's you can't boast so it's not to boast or to floss around but to think that as you said all of us if you look at the black sheep where you're supposed to have in every family we thank god by, by his grace alone and not to brag again but to give god the glory all of us all siblings are in the lord love the lord are in full time ministry or they're, they're really in salvation shall we say uh the last born now is uh 27 yes. 25 years old 24 years old and yeah 21 uh, 23 23 years old and still in christ everybody's passionate for the lord Turn so uh, for sure, that was the goal that they worked towards too, which is imprinting Christ in us. And again, doing that job with 12 kids. Strong commitment. Uh, yeah, strong commitment. Dad and then and the exploits that mom did, traveling all over the world, ministering to presidents, yeah. uh, even in the business scene, the uh, presidents of countries, and ministering to them, prophesying to them, and you know, hosting conferences of the biggest names in the church at that time you know uh, in those days Maurice Cerullo helping to organize their conferences and other speakers yeah. and it's really uh, the doulos the, ship that she also you know oh yeah the the ship project. the mission ship of the doulos called the doulos where they had books yeah. uh, working in partnership with that so just making a trailblaze in the kingdom of God and also in the business scene and also setting up schools and also raising us all up <laughs> yeah. and also taking us, all of us, all not around the crazy. world. <laughs> not cr going all crazy <laughs> all the time. And that is really yeah. a person. Uh, and we witness for sure that it was a life devo devoted to God. Uh, it was not after money. It was not after fame in itself. Although she was able to utilize both money and fame and, uh, you know, her reputation, uh, which she used to, to bank on to create networks so that the work of the kingdom can progress, whether it's through business, whether it's through social causes, missions, and setting up schools and changing lives and speaking yes. in churches and all being a mother of 12 kids <laughs> and being grandchildren to, to many more. So what a heritage, and we, we are so blessed to have had that mother. Yes, we are mourning her now, that she's not here physically, but we are excited to, to really have that life. And we pray, I even tell dad that if I be 
as half as successful <laughs> yeah. as he is, I'd be so much successful. Yes. Yeah, that 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 is really you know his love for God. I mean, he's he he's the OG, the original crazy guy, <laughs> passionate for God, yes. and it's really because of his strong love, you know, and commitment that he was able to support mom. You know, and and all the ministries, everything like from the church school, everything was really coming from dad's pocket, and mommy was really the one coming with, you know, uh, out of, you know, out of the box. Really, she's such a visionary, and she's just, uh, executor. You know, she's a great uh, one, really, uh, like daddy's henchman. <laughs> yeah. You know, she's like, you know, uh, everyone thinks that she's crazy or uh, mom, you know, and she's, you know, but they didn't know that she's just executing everything that daddy's, um, because dad also, you know, he, uh, I, I also haven't seen, you know, in, in my life, someone who's really so passionately and crazily devoted in love for God, for God's work as much as dad. And that's why he was able to really impart that and inspire that same love to mom and in turn mom just magnify that to all of us right so yeah so it's it's really just an amazing union between them and uh, i think the reason why we had such an amazing mother because we have you know dad who really was really z zealous for god and um yeah you know it's really a painful memory especially you know being a mother and um you know, um, there's like a hug, you know, mother's hug that you can't get it from anyone or anywhere, right? But we know that God is God and we are not. And we can only just continue to glean from all the seeds that was imparted to us, you know, like in, in their own beautiful little time, in God's beautiful time, those seeds like kernel popping popcorn, we can glean from them, you know, life lessons. And, um, we can move forward stronger and better, clearer path. Um, and our devotion to God, our commitment becomes clearer every day. And uh, yeah, their life becomes strong exhortation for us. You know, it's like added life to us also. So we are really thankful for that. Yes, we're thankful for that. And this is for all of you guys out there also who have lost a loved one, whether it's your mom, your wife, your um, dad or your sibling or your child um, remembering what God has done through them and the memories of course it still hurts still fresh uh, yeah so thank you for listening about our mom story of our mom and how we celebrate her and how she made us who we are today we could not be here without her so we just give God the glory yes I just want to say <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Benjamin is here. This is our last born um, brother. brother. Here, here. <laughs> Just say a word or two about mom. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Um, it's hard, of course, to lose a mother sometimes. Um, you know, I always wonder and ask like oh my goodness we're that family you know the family that loses a mother that you see in the movies or in the series oh the fa 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 family that lost a brother tragedy and all of those things but i, I believe like she's really prepared us <laughs> to be strong and to really encourage us so um yeah uh there are times when uh, i look around and i uh, there's suddenly there's a feeling that i get like Where's my mom? <laughs> I look around and I just uh, hug and it's just uh, it, it it comes in like every yeah, you never know every it, month yeah. like, or yeah. whatever you're doing and all of a sudden you just feel that rush that 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 um that like the feeling of I don't know I don't know what to call it it's like it's, 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 it's missing something like it's like yeah it's like you 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 lost the home like and yeah. then you're looking for the home so yeah but uh you know you you have to move on with life but. Again, when she, I mean, just because we lost someone, that we don't necessarily mean like they're gone forever. Because the memory of them and the the things they taught you, in a way, they're still impacting your life. So, like in terms of the effect they have in our life, still real. There are a lot of things that um, 
I still live by <laughs> even uh, in Tagalog we call it huling bilin. <laughs> uh, you know her last commands for us. So like there's this. What? What? What are? Okay, so one of those is like no coffee until I get married. No, yeah, <laughs> no, no coffee drink, and wine. For no us. wine until, until I get married. married. So I mean, in those little things, it, although I don't, I'm not bound by them anymore. Even my dad gave me permission, but and I, I still feel like. Uh, I still feel it like I like to follow them because I feel like I'm still connected somehow when I follow it. It's like so in a way, just that restriction ish in a way <laughs> uh, makes me feel like I'm a bit closer. But I know she's with the Lord and that we are all with God. But you know, it's it uh, being physically there is also different. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, two of you, my lovely, wonderful brother and Anything sister. Anything for you. <laughs> Yes, God bless you. Okay, tell our viewers to please subscribe and may God truly bless them. Yes, 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 yes. For everyone, please subscribe to this wonderful, amazing channel and click that like button, share, turn on your notifications, press all. Don't just personalize, press all and then write some comments on your, uh, if you have any loss in your life and maybe, you know, if you want to share your experience and also if you have someone that you know that had a grievous loss so you know we all share in this emotion and it's very important to to express it and not just keep it inside and you be able to tell one another so please do comment like subscribe share all the good stuff wow. may god bless you all all right so i'm back uh sensei and benjamin and solomon had a wonderful time but this day does not end sad hmm. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is on the throne. As you can see, I'm with my sister in grace here. I don't like sister in grace. My sister. These guys are my sisters. So my sister here, doctor. I like calling her doctor. She's just not doctor. <laughs> uh, Sir Franch over here. Last time you saw her, she was pregnant. So first, let's start there. Yeah, The last time you saw her. Congratulations. Imagine this is just a few days postpartum. few days. Look how amazing she looks. Like Up and about. In the up and about. And here throwing a whole party for her daughter. Because on the day of our mother's birthday, she went into labor and brought us a wonderful, beautiful, strong as our mom, <laughs> daughter. <laughs> so you can imagine, this is now a, a stand to a day that we celebrate as a family. And I woke up so sad, I'm like, no, we're going to celebrate. I woke up crying, I'm like, no, we're going to celebrate. Even when you saw me, you're like, what's wrong? I'm like, I'm still finding how we celebrate on this day. <laughs> but how God has forced us that we must celebrate with a yes. wonderful, beautiful... So it's her daughter. Yes, so, tell us. Uh, tell us. Tell us about... Well, the story is, um, uh, four years ago, um, my sister decided to you know to to have a movie together to meet my mom's birthday but she was she already passed and then on the night of uh, of that the eve of her birthday i started to have the contraction and then i couldn't believe it that it was already august 9 and definitely it's already midnight so i knew it would be august 10 so yeah it's it's something that is a gift for me because I said my other sisters had my mom in their wedding even her she had her mom but I didn't have my mom on my wedding so I told you so I was supposed to be happy but yeah so that was the way God it's a gift yeah so it's God's gift for me personally to to give uh, to to have my firstborn child my daughter to be on the same birthday as my mom so while the other people are mourning on the day i'm forced to be happy because We're not forced, forced. not just forced but i have a reason to be happy to celebrate because of of the birth of my child so that is god's gift for me because it's really what helped me cope up with the loss of of my mother and you know there's a loss but i've also gained a beautiful healthy um very smart uh, firstborn daughter so God is good and of course I just wanted to share the blessing as well because I had a successful delivery Yay! normal delivery yes, yes, um, yes. Uh, while we're taking this video um, I'm practically just um, 17 days old from giving birth and so he is a healthy baby boy his name is Alon meaning wave so he is a very handsome very healthy and god is good and i praise god for giving me that strength i'm still healing but yeah 
I am uh, I'm there so I praise God and I give him all the glory because it really is a miracle always to give birth to a uh, normal and still be uh, to to be alive you know I just want to let you know that it's not a joke when a woman goes into labor and gives birth so to come out alive as well she, definitely you know her already her that's her story so it is really a miracle and we praise God for that yeah. Amen. So how do you find, uh, what are the characteristics you find in Tala that you're in mom? Because I see a lot. Uh, you as a mother. As a mother, it's her, it's, it's that, um, uh, lakas ng loob. It's English for lakas ng loob. Um, the confidence, the, 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 not just, it's not brave. It's palaban. She's a fighter. Yeah, in anything she wow. if she knows that she knows something is right or she knows where for example then I ask her that this is where she places and she knows it's not that her mom is having her pregnancy brain and she's wow. sure of what she said she's gonna really force it no mom this is where I place and she's just three years old at that time so yeah that's a characteristic that I, I find with Tala but it's mainly her face her visual I mean her facial expressions that I also find that she has with mommy Anna so yep Wow, so imagine guys uh, how, how this day has turned out to be a beautiful day and just in the years to come that you'll continuously celebrate Talar on this day and not just cry. Hopefully it gets easier. You know this is my first time doing this. I think the rest I used to because <laughs> I've been in Kenya during Talar's birthday. You know, you just send a message then you spend the whole day crying. So this is <laughs> my first time being, having to be in Talar's birthday and remember mom also. But anyway, it is it is beautiful. Thank you for such a wonderful, wonderful party. I don't know how you did this postpartum. Actually, I know because <laughs> Theophany, I don't know, I heard her then had to do Taylor's birthday a few days later. It's really hard. It's really hard. And, and I we think celebrate it's be you. another topic for postpartum. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I know, yes. Yeah. Hey, postpartum. By the way, they've just approved a uh, drug, a pill. For postpartum depression, wow. first of its kind in the US, FDA approved. Wow. Well, we should. I hope I can get that by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Postpartum is but not it's a real. Joke. But it's real. All right, guys. But, and that's why it's good. You have community, you have family, and you have siblings to you know to help you out. You forgot it on my birthday. Are you happy? Yeah. Happy All right, thank you so much thank for watching. You. Please don't forget to subscribe and may God truly bless you. Bye-bye.